Hello and welcome to this, the first lesson of the Ho Ho Chi Rhythm Method. My name's Chaparral Andrew Hodges and I'll be taking you through some of the simplest rhythms in my method. The first rhythm we need to consider is Jeb. Jeb is a simple rhythm, it's based on a pattern three beats long, it's two beats of the three and it goes thus. combine this rhythm with other rhythms. The first of two rhythms that are four beats long is called Zira and it's two beats out of four as such. If we combine the Jeb rhythm with the Zira rhythm we get a polyrhythm called Jeb Zira. to make the polyrhythm, Jeb Zira. The other rhythm that's four beats long is the Gira rhythm, which has three beats played out of the four. Gira. We can combine the Gira rhythm with the Jeb rhythm to create a second polyrhythm, Jeb Gira. rhythms that are five beats long and the shortest of them is Tala which has two beats out of five. You can combine the Tala rhythm with the Jeb rhythm to make a polyrhythm Jeb Tala. rhythm with one of the four length rhythms like Zira.
could combine the Talar rhythm with the other four beat long rhythm, Gira. So, this is how you can build up polyrhythms from simple rhythms. And many of them are available to read in my book, The Ho Ho Chi Rhythm Method. There are now five books of polyrhythms. There are quite a lot of polyrhythms that you could play. A number of people ask me why it is that I don't include the beat as one of my rhythms. The beat being... Um, the reason I don't tend to use a beat is because it doesn't train my hand to do anything other than keep time. All of the other rhythms have beats and then pauses, combinations of the two, and my hands are learning the patterns of those rhythms, and that seems to me a useful skill. And by developing that skill, my hands are automatically learning to keep a beat and so I don't include the beat as it's a little characterless and I, I think it's unworthy of a lot of practice. A lot of the polyrhythm videos that you'll see involve people playing combinations of beats. One hand's doing that. That's one, two, three, one, two, three. I call that half beat. The other hand's doing this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I call that half beat. Now the interesting thing about that combination of simple beats is what I call the composite beat. The overall sound of both lots of beats. By combining two simple beat patterns, I've created... ...which is a rhythm. In fact, that rhythm's called Raug. It's six beats long. So, there's worthwhile to consider what happens with combinations of beats or combinations of beats and rhythms. I won't really be addressing it on video but feel free to experiment. Remember these lessons aren't to teach you slavishly to do as I do, it's really to open up your mind to the possibility of playing with one rhythm and then switching to a different rhythm that's in a different place. And the idea being to encourage you to explore and create new music rather than the music that you already hear around you. Um, that's about it for the first lesson and I'll uh, speak to you again soon.